about Gaia Energy Systems has not installed any wind towers in the Pacific County. They have been trying. It's very difficult, as you're aware, um, especially as as we're all becoming more and more environmentally tuned to analyses and review. Um, it's much more um, um, it's much more expertise in those areas now than we before. So, but typically. Single-family residential applications or small garden applications, especially in the coastal zone, it just doesn't pencil out to go through that environmental, that higher level of environmental review. We're really fortunate that Charles is still sticking in to this. We've got our biological assessment. We feel really confident that all of those issues have been addressed and given more. And I stand corrected. The cut-in wind speed was nine miles. Nine. Oh. I'll admit it. <laughs> okay, Supervisor. Thank you. Um, question for staff in a letter from from um, Department of Parks and Rec. The, the, the two statements at the bottom to avoid impacts of wildlife <coughs> turbine state parks request the following. They're talking about the recommendations from the California guidelines for reducing impacts to birds and bats from wind energy development. Is this a document that you used in in your in the permitting process, did you use this document in order to? I mean, that's come Neil Lightner, who's a project coordinator. To yes. Um, during my review of the permit, um, I used the California guidelines for reducing impacts to birds and bats. Um, they recommend, um, in essence, they recommend a study um, similar to what WRA um, the study did for the birds and bats, and then they also recommended. Um, whatever the study comes up with, such as finding marble or urolet to impose special conditions, such as the special condition I recommended. Is that number three? Um, yes, the one included in the board summary. So you would say that basically in this process you complied with the questions uh, presented by Parks and the board one? I believe it. I so did. you believe you've, com you've complied with the, the guidelines? Yes, okay. because that special condition would avoid the take of the marble mural. Thank you. To um, to um, the applicants in the addition to I mean the, the new documents that we received just prior to the meeting, looking at the letter from Mel McKinney and um, Mr. Woods and listening to your comments about the the visual issues. Now you're stating that it's not. Uh, as proposed, visual, uh, there's no visibility of the, of the proposed uh, tower from Big River Beach or Highway 1. So where is it visible from? Where from the adjacent property, the property across the driveway. Uh, and that's the, only and that's the view shown on the upper left-hand corner here. Okay. That's across the driveway. Now would it be vis visual, uh, is there any visual uh, on it from uh, like Kamshiokai Road? Oh, no. No. And not Highway 1? No. Only from uh, the adjacent property on the yes. in this spot. Yes, And so, to, this was a question I think Supervisor Dunbar had. What what could you do? Because this is the request that's being made in this letter that we just received. Um, and concerns from the, Paul, the Paulson parcel that is the adjacent parcel. What about the ability to move this tower to? A location that would be uh, less visible or not visible from the policy. Well, due to the uh, conservation easement, the only direction that it could go at this elevation is further down to the left, slightly from where it is, and it would probably still be visible to the Paulson property. So there is a strip of land between the edge of my property and the conservation easement, and it isn't to that strip of land that this proposed tower would be placed. And so, so I would move uh, <coughs> south on that strip, but it would still be uh, probably uh, visible from the Paulson property. But you're not sure, you think so? Uh, we haven't run simulations, yes, but it, it would also go down because Looking at this picture in the upper left-hand corner of the storyboard there, uh, we're looking at Big River, 
we're looking south here. So any uh, movement uh, in the southerly uh, direction would lose elevation and therefore also lose uh, wind. We did move to either southern or western. How much more height would you need with a 60 foot tower make up and get that loss? Trading off a higher tower for the view from the Wilson bunker? I'm certainly willing to ask our technical consultant to answer your question. I'm sorry I am not able to respond with specifics at this point in time. Would you like me to pursue that? I Okay, so um, I spent a lot of time on this property, and it's not certainly not as much as the applicant or the appellant, but I spent a lot of time on this property. This is a very steep draw that has the open space easement around it. Um, there is Relocating this, along, this is this is the only available area. Once you get to approximately this point of the property, it starts to cut very steeply. So access for maintenance and ins installation would be much more difficult, and also more um, environmentally destructive as far as like having to whack through more shrubbery. So that. In my mind, in reviewing the parcel and in trying to figure out from a planning point of view where the best location would be for all factors involved, and, and in my personal, in my business, I always try to keep in mind the interests of the neighbors as well because you don't want to aggravate neighbor relations. Um, so, but this, I concurred with my client's um, citing of this. This is the best location for wind access, maintenance, and. Um, there's, you know, on the, on the east, on the western side of the property, the parcel is extremely encumbered by easements and, um, I mean, by you know, transportation easement, um, septic, uh, the open space easement, and the house footprint itself with its driveway to come in and turn around and get out. So it's really, it's just this, this strip over here. There is an easement, the, the roadway easement wraps all the way around here and down to this, this parcel here. Um, and this is the most level area, but again, it cuts pretty straight, pretty quickly down. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, any other questions from the board at this point? Okay, at this point, I'm going to open it up for uh, public input, public comment. I do have a number of speaker cards. Uh, I'll call your name in order. Uh, if you do wish to speak to this item, please fill out one of these cards and pass it forward. Um, when, you, uh, when I call upon you, uh, please state your name for the record. It is being filmed and keep the comments to three minutes. So the first speaker uh, is Scott Dietz, followed by Warren Wade. Mr. Dietz. Hi, I'm Scott Dietz. I, I've uh, been a broker associate with Century 21 in Mendocino for 20 years. 